I'm Kate Chaplinski with the HAN Network, and we're here talking with Dr. Jay Kleeman of Coastal Orthopedics today about ankle injuries. Dr. Kleeman, welcome. Thank you. Now, tell us a little bit about why ankle sprains are so common. Well, a lot of athletes play sports that involve jumping and cutting, uh, and these put a lot of strain uh, on the ankle. Um, some of the new surfaces can have a little more grip and make uh, uh, young people more prone to turn their ankles. Now, is it true that some people have weak ankles? Because that's something you hear people say from time to time. Is, is that possible? It is possible. Uh, when people talk about their ankles being unstable, uh, I like to differentiate between a truly loose ankle and one that just needs some conditioning. Uh, stability comes from the ligaments that bind the joint together, and they can be loose. And stability comes from the coordination between our brain and the muscles that surround the joint. And if that communication is thrown off, it can lead to a weak situation. And now what can athletes do to prevent these kinds of injuries? Well, I think proper conditioning and strengthening of certain muscles around the ankle is important. Uh, just by running, we make our, our muscles in the front and back of the ankle uh, stronger, but we really need to focus on the muscles to the side that keep us from inversion injuries, which are the most common injuries we see in the ankle. Now, how can braces and orthotics help? When do those come into play? Uh, I think as far as ankle stability, braces are more important than orthotics. Um, braces can give strength uh, where people have a deficiency either in the ligaments or in their, their muscle strength. Um, so usually a combination of bracing and muscle strengthening with or without physical therapy can be helpful in, in making uh, the patient stronger. And how do you know, how does somebody know when it's time for surgery? What might be the clues to that? Um, you need to go see a foot and ankle specialist uh, uh, in orthopedics such as myself. Um, any kind of sprain that is, is causing pain or instability longer than you would expect, um, that is causing persistent symptoms, um, needs to be checked out. And what are some tips for athletes that may be wrapping their ankles or you know, need help kind of doing that? I think getting a brace that you can uh, strap on either with laces or, or Velcro straps is something the athletes can do. When it comes to taping, there really is an art to it, and, and actually the trainers at the high schools are better at it than I am. So if you're going to tape your own ankle or your mom or dad thinks they're an expert in ankle taping, they should at least get some instruction from somebody who's done it before. And how can people get more information about you guys at Coastal Orthopedics? Well, we're on the web at coastalorthopedics.com. You can reach us at 203-845-2200 if you'd like to make an appointment. We have uh, walk-in hours between uh, 1 and 7 uh, most weekdays. We have uh, urgent care open then as well as on Saturday from 10 to 4. So uh, we prefer you call ahead and let us know you're coming, but we try to allow everybody to come in and be seen. All right. Well, Dr. Kleeman, thanks so much for talking with us about this important topic for athletes. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right. That's going to do it for this chat with Coastal Orthopedics. I'm Kate Chaplinski for the HAN Network.